sharpening your knife. Not at all. All right. Then you're going to go to sharpensbest.com and you're going to see your knife being sharpened, excuse me, on YouTube. Sharpens Best. So let's check and see what we got. That's actually a pretty cool knife. Okay. It's a Tonto blade, inside radius, hard to sharpen. And that's what I thought. No offense intended, but that's dull. So I'm going to park my butt for a second. I'm going to gently run. For you people who have actually watched my videos, I am using the V-notch a little more these days, but I, I'm more gentle, you know, than most people think. So we'll just do this. See how it, it just grabs the sharpener and wants to take it with, and that's all the pressure I'm putting on it. So be careful and don't push very hard because it really will cut the metal off the blade. But because your knife is really dull, I'm going to run it through there and cut both sides back to 10 degrees on each side, which is 20 inclusive. All right. So let's stop at that and see if I changed it. Okay. That's good, but it isn't best. You know, good, better, best. All right. So then we're going to run along like this on the inside radius and right up here like that. And go right on around here. Match the bevel, which is about 10 degrees, just like that. You can go forth and back like this on that point. Do the same thing over here. Go out that way. Right on down to the point of the blade. Here. There. Everywhere. Just like that. Alright, so now I go out and right off the point just like this. Don't press too hard on it, let it work. Right now I'm just polishing. When I flip the knife every pass, I'm polishing that little wire edge off of the blade. I do kind of manipulate it when I when I go around that way, just like that. So let's see now. That is a little <laughs> bit different on that blade, okay? Yeah. Sharpensbest.com, the best darn knife sharpeners you'll ever see as long as you live. And we got one of these in the handle. Okay? I thought I, when I quit welding that no more sparks. Well, guess what? So then we do have a bottle opener. I've got a V notch for reshaping and sharpening. So if I want to sharpen a kitchen knife and I don't want to reshape it, this is all the pressure I would put on it. Just like that. About three passes every time you use it before you put it away and you actually have a knife that cuts, not sort of, but really actually cuts. And if you want to make a thick, heavy knife that way, I don't use the V at all on that. I actually just use the open face straight line. I come back at me this way, away from me, and right on around. Turn it over, there and here. Tune them up and never let them get dull. The whole secret to a knife is don't use them until they're dull. Keep them cleaned up, keep them sharp, and make them cut. And, watch this. That's not an easy knife to sharpen. But my knives actually cut, not sort of. They're sharp, and all I gotta do is this. Any more knives, please? I sharpen all knives free. If you sharpen about 120 knives a day, three days a week average for 16 years, you get good at sharpening. That needs work on that. Help. <laughs> All right. And these run right down through there sideways. Don't press too hard, it'll just stick in there. Because these are actually up and right back, we go a little bit slower. And just like that, just like this, then bump, bump, bump on the points, easy, flat on the back. And then I'll just go right out here, chase the wire edge off the blade by flipping the nine feet every pass. And let's see what we got now. Oops, if it'll do that. Okay, I'm gonna need just a little bit more, but it's getting there. So I'm gonna run it through the V just a little bit. That way it catches both sides at the same time. Light. We don't want to take any serious metal off the blade. Just like that. Alright, let's see if just that. It actually cut the side right off the paper. That's sharp enough. If you make them sharper than that, they're going to be so thin they won't hold an edge. If it's a work knife, don't make them too sharp. Yeah, yeah. And they'll nick. 
Uh, there's all kinds of things that can happen to a knife that's too thin, too sharp.